Hey guys, it's Sniffer here from BBAQW. Today uh, I'll be doing a guide on how to get the Sepulcher's Doom Knight armor. Um, it's what I'm wearing now. Tomorrow or some other time me and Raj will do a tutorial on how to get the Blinding Light of Destiny. But since he's not here today, we're just going to do the Sepulcher's Doom Knight armor. So before we begin, you do have to have a membership. And um, yeah, that is required. You can't have had one in the past. You have to have an active membership to get all the stuff and complete the quest. So, the first thing you want to do is slash join Necropolis. Uh, I'm just going to join a private one. So, here in Necropolis, you do the Blinding Light of Destiny from Arctic. We're going to want to click on Veil here and click on Quest. So, you're going to have to complete a couple of quests. Um, they're pretty easy. So, I'm pretty sure one of the starter ones you'll need to do is Sepulcher's Armor. And um, this requires a Doom Knight Hood. I'll show you how to get that. But first, you're going to have to do the quest Dark Spirit Orbs. And to do this quest, you'll need to get a Shadow Serpent Scythe. Here, let me just accept it. So a Shadow Serpent Scythe from Slash Giant Blood Rut 4, which is an upgrade only map. So um, once you're here, you just have to kill the Shadow Serpent until it drops the Shadow Serpent Scythe. It's not that bad of a drop. It's um, actually pretty high. So you can farm them in this room over here because there's two of them. And there you go. I already got it. The next thing you'll need is a Shadow Creeper Enchant. And that's from slash join blood rut 2. So you'll just want to join that. And you just need to kill the shadow creepers. This is one of the longer ones. Um, this is a... It's around a 1% drop. It might not be, but it's really, really low. It's um, taken me forever to get this from them. And yeah, it just takes a bit of time. Um, maybe it could take you like an hour for it. It could take you... You know, a couple minutes or 30 seconds, but it's a pretty low drop rate. And to get the Shadow Whiskers, you will slash join the Marsh. And you just need to kill the Witch in the final room. So, just uh, go to the right. This will be a pretty long video, but it will show you a full tutorial on how to get Sepulcher do my arm. Which is one of the main requirements for Necrotic. You don't need it, but it's definitely worth getting if you're going for Necrotic. So you just need to kill a Dark Witch, and there, she drops the Whiskers. It's a 100% drop. Occasionally you'll get two Whiskers, uh, most of the time you'll get one. So after you've done that, just go back to Necropolis, and um, head back to Vale. Turn the quest in. Once you have 40 Dark Spirit Orbs, except the quest of Pulcher's Armor, all you need is 40 Spirit Orbs and the Doom Knight Hood, which is from Slash Join Shadow Fall. This one's really easy. It just costs a couple of gold. So just head over to the um, Doom Knight shop, get this, and buy the Doom Knight hood. It's only 6,000 gold. So once you've done that, head back to Vale. You're, you're going to need to go back and forth, back and forth. And um, you'll, you'll have to complete a couple more quests along here. It's pretty easy and self-explanatory. And next you'll have to do Toiling with Care, which requires the blo um, Elder's Blood, and the Shadow Terror Axe. I'll show you how to get both of those. So to get Elder's Blood, you want to slash join Ark and Grove. And um, head in here, head down into this portal. Um, click on Reans, go to the daily tasks, and accept Elder's Blood. All you need to do is kill 50 girl offense, and it's pretty easy. They're just right out here. Here, I'll show you. Just head two rooms to the left, right around the corner here. Just right up here. Yes, yeah, so just kill these guys, they'll drop it. That's nice. So next, um, you will want to slash join, uh, what's it called? Battle under A. And here you'll have to farm a boss. It's uh, not that hard, but it can take some time. Now, if I'm correct, you get to the boss by he can be kind of hard to find, but this is how I get to him mainly. I just join Battle Under B. And once you're in Battle Under B, you just head up here. And you just need to kill the Bone Terror until it drops it. It's also a pretty low percent drop, but you only need to do it once unless you're just going to farm this quest. But Elder's Blood is daily, so um, 
yeah, I wouldn't recommend trying to farm it like that. See, we didn't get it. It's a pretty low drop. So after you have that, just um, head back to Necropolis and turn your quest in to Veil. And then it will unlock, and then it will lock a penny for your thoughts. This one's pretty easy. You just want to slash join mall. But this one requires a lot of luck. But this is what you will be mainly farming. You just need to kill pretty much everything in here. There's not a single thing that you won't need to kill, I'm pretty sure. And I'm pretty sure it is a 1% drop as well. So it could take some time, it could take a little time. But you'll be doing this quest a lot. So after you have got that, you want to head back to Necropolis as usual. Head over to Vale again. Quest. And Dark Spirit Donation. You'll need to gather up 100 Dark Spirit Orbs and a Dark Skull from a Shadow Imp. That's pretty easy to get. To go to the Shadow Imp, you just need to slash join Necro Dungeon. No, sorry, not Necro Dungeon. Necro Cavern, my bad. And it is a pretty high drop. I'm pretty sure it might be 100. Oh, it's not 100, but... Oh yeah, it did drop the Dark Skull. It was at... It's, uh, you have to accept it. So, um, after you've done that, you want to head back to Necropolis to Vale, as you will be many times. And then you can do the Hardcore Metals quest. Now, this is what will give you your metals. Um, the ones that you will need is Arsenic, which is optional, but it will make it a lot easier. Chromium and Rhodium. I'd say Chromium and Rhodium is the most important. If I had to pick the most important one, I'd say Rhodium. But this is a daily quest, so this will take you multiple days. And it, it will give you one of the following medals, so... Yeah, it's a 1 in 7. But to do this quest, you just need to slash join Stalagbite. And you just need to kill the um, rocks here. And they will also drop the Axe of the Prospector, but it's not as high as the Raw are. So after you've got the rock... Um, after you've got the... Ah, uh, sorry. After you've got the Axe of the Prospector and all of the metals, you'll just turn it in back at Bale as usual. And then after that, you can start enhancing metals. Invincible. So, from this point, you can just enhance whatever metal you get. It's pretty easy, so say you want arsenic, just have to get dark energy, which now drops from dark makais and a whole bunch of other things. It's nearly a 100% drop, very easy. Your arsenic, dark spear orbs, Deadly Nightshade. And Deadly Nightshade come from Tree Ants in slash join... Uh, one sec. Let me look it up on the wiki. Yeah. Um, they come from... You can find them in farm. Oh yeah, Poison Forest is another one. This is what they look like. Yeah, but sorry about that, but... You get them from the Tree Ants. So, let me just click back here. Yeah, Deadly Nightshade um, from the creatures such as Tree Ants, Seed Spitters, Cash Rooms, just to name a few. So you'll just need to gather that. After you've got your first thing, this is when the grind comes in. So you have to get two. So if you head into the merch shop, you have to get 100 Corrupt Spirit Orbs, which takes about 10,000 Dark Spirit Orbs. And uh, cause that is because you need two Ominous Auras. And the ominous ores are used to merge the weapons here. So say you got arsenic, you'll be doing the daggers. So daggers of destruction. Um, you'll need the accursed arsenic of doom, which you get from doing those quests. Dark spear orbs. And the doom squire weapon kit. I'll get down to those quests. To get the daggers, you'll need the shadow daggers of destruction. So here they are right here. And the doom knight weapon kit. Then to get these, you'll need the daggers of discret. You'll need the daggers of destruction. But, you will need two of the Ominous Auras because, um, to do a quest here, I don't know if I can still get the quest, but you'll have to slash join, oh god, sorry about that, slash join Dwarfhold. You'll head down into Dwarfhold. You want to go down to the Metal Forge room, and this is where you merge it into your first weapon. So after you've tamed two uh, ominous auras, which requires 10,000 regular um, dark spear orbs, which I would recommend farming for penny for your fat, that is the long grindy part out of the way. So you head in here, forge metal, and arsenic, there you go, you need two ominous auras. So 
once you've done that, that's a hard part out of the way. So next you won't want to join Necropolis again. And from here on out, it's pretty easy as long as you can get the medals. So, um, we'll get onto the Doom Squire weapon kits now. So, hold on. I'm gonna have to read a wiki on this because it has some uh, requirements. So you'll need to complete each of these to march each weapon. You're gonna start off with the Doom Squire, then you're gonna head down to Doom Soldier, then Doom Knight. So if you look at the Doom Squire requirements, it requires a requires a new blade oil from a noob monster, and you get those from orc noobs. An iron hammer, which is dropped by V. Um, skeleton skeletal warriors, which are very easy to kill. War Mummy Wrath, coming from the War Mummies in Sandcastle in Oasis. You will also need Bronze Brush, which you can get from Bronze Draconians in Lair. Elemental Sharp Stone Sharpener from the Rock Elemental. And the Rock Elemental can pretty much be found in... Um, it can be found in Blood Rut Keep. He's the final boss at the end of Blood Rut. You will also need... Uh, Dark Makai Lacquer Finish, dropped by Dark Makais, and Burlock Cloth, dropped by Scarecrows at the farm. So after you've done that, you're going to have to do the quest for the Doom Soldier Weapon Kit. And you need Dai Tengu's Blade from Dai Tengu. Um, the Stone Hammer, which actually comes from the Stone Golem in Cornelis Ruins um, in the Mobius storyline. Uh, Leatherwing Hide, dropped by Leatherwings. You can find them in Guru. Silver Brush dropped by Vampire Knights at Chaos or Lycan War. Copper Owl dropped by Copper Sky Pirates in. Um, let's see here, I forgot to go to. Oh, Slash Join Anders. Um, you will also need Shadow Stone dropped by the Shadow Imps in Necro Cavern. We already did that. Shadow Locker Finish dropped by Shadow Vordred. Um, that's just it, um, Vordred Boss. You just have to complete a bunch of the Vordred Bosses. And Leather Case dropped by Tomb Robbers in uh sansi port so next after you have that you will just get onto the doom knight weapon kit um number 1337 blade oil dropped by kasoon grumpy worm hammer dropped by the final boss at boxes his name is sneefeltron um you will also need the gold brush dropped by the chaos sphinx non-abrasive powder dropped by the protosartorium in crash site um, Shadow Dragon Hide by the Shadow Dragon in Necro Cavern. Mogginth Stone Sharpener dropped by Mogginth in Dragon Plain. Um, Doom Lacquer Finish dropped by Shadow Nukamichi in Slash Join Akiba. And Dark Wavern Hide Travel Case dropped by the Dark Waverns in Slash Join Dream Nexus. So after you have that, you will get your first weapon. Um, which will lead you on to the tier 3 quest. So this is basically what you will farm for summoning Sepulcher's armor. Now what you will need is 250 Corrupt Spirit Orbs. You can get the Corrupt Spirit Orbs from the... Um, you don't get them from the daggers. You can get them... You don't get them from the broadsword. You can't get them from the mace either, but I would just recommend farming the mace. Because it gives you 100 Dark Spear Orbs, you only need to do this about 250 times. And by then you'll have enough Ominous Aura. Um, I'm pretty sure the Corrupt Spear Orbs are dropped by the Scythe. But it's not required to get it. Honestly, I just farmed the Mace. I didn't farm any other weapon, I just put the grind in on the Mace here. But yeah. So to do the quest, uh, we're just going to do Mace because I actually have the Mace. Um, it's in my bank. Let me just get it out. Thanks to the Zorback Bank Pet. I'll just put some bone dust away. Here it is, the Necrotic Mace of Misery. I just used that one. Took a long time. A couple days and some straight farming. But to do the quest, I would recommend two things. Um, number one is that you quest glitch it. That is very required. It's not not allowed, I'm pretty sure, but yeah, just don't get caught doing it. And you want to slash join Blood Rut 2. Now the easiest way to get it is to just kill these shadow creepers. Um, they drop it the majority of the time. There you go. Already got it. And these will be the quests that you have to farm. So let's just head back to Necropolis. Now, 
After you have farmed up all of the requirements, which is 250 corrupt spear orbs, 125 ominous aura, 75 diabolical auras, and the doom aura. The doom aura is like around a 0.7% drop just from doing those quests, so you should get it just by farming for the other things. I didn't get it, I had to do it a couple hundred times, but it was definitely worth it. 500 dark spear orbs, an experimental dark item. Um, we made that earlier in one of the first quests, actually, that you get from Veil. You should have it unless you delete it. Just get it back again, it doesn't cost that much. And a Doom Heart, which I'll show you how to get in a second, or a Heart of Darkness, sorry. And a Doom Knight Weapon Kit, which we already did. So to get the Heart of Darkness, you will slash join Ruins. Um, head over to the far right room, as far as you can go. Past the Soul Seeker. And it is a 100% drop from the Dark Elemental. And um, there you go, guys. That is how to get the Sepulchre Doom Knight Armor. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I know it might have been a little long, but um, I'm putting the new intro, the new outro on the video and all that. If you want to get a good look at it, here it is. It's pretty nice. Um, I really enjoy it. I think it was worth farming for. This could take you from a couple days to a couple weeks to a couple of months. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.